Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about fundamental trigonometric identities, section three. Um, there are many, many trigonometric identities that tie trigonometric functions together. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of them. Um, you already know some of them um, from last year. In 10th grade, you learned tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, and you also learned cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. These two, you already learned them. Um, now we are going to learn two new identities. Um, 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to 1 over cosine squared theta and 1 plus 1 over tangent squared theta is equal to 1 over sine squared theta. So, in these two identities are derived from this identity. So, if you know these two identities, it will make your job easier and it will shorten your time when you solve questions. Um, without knowing that, you can also solve questions, it's okay, it's not a big deal. By using only these two, you can solve every question, but it will take some time. Um, the other identities, negative angle identities, you also learn this in even and odd functions. Um, sine negative theta is negative sine theta, tangent negative theta is negative tangent theta, but cosine is different. Cosine negative theta is positive cosine theta. For sine and tangent, um, you have negatives in front, but for cosine, there is no negative. The negative cosine is positive cosine. So let's continue with the question. Rewrite each expression in terms of sine theta. They are written in different forms, so we are going to change it to sine and simplify. So let's start. Um, we have in denominator we have all the sine. In numerator we have cosine. We have to get rid of that by changing it to sine. How am I going to do that? So let's take a look at the identity. Cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. I need cosine squared alone, so I have to move sine squared to the other side. So it will be 1 minus sine squared. So in place of cosine squared, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared. All over 1 minus sine theta. Okay, we did the first part of question, we rewrite it, the expression in terms of sine, but the second part says simplify, we haven't simplified it yet, so let's simplify. So I see here difference of two perfect squares, one squared minus sine squared, so I can factor, factorize it as one minus sine theta times one plus sine theta all over 1 minus sine theta. We have same factors in denominator and numerator. Here we have 1 minus sine theta. In numerator also we have 1 minus sine theta. They will cancel out. The result becomes 1 plus sine theta. So we wrote it in terms of sine and we also simplified it. Um, the second one, 1 over tangent squared in terms of sine. How can I write it? Um, let's take a look at the third identity here. Here we have 1 over tangent squared plus 1 equals 1 over sine squared. So we can move 1 to the other side. So it's going to be one, min 1 over sine squared theta minus 1. With only one step, we solved it and we simplified it by using the third identity. Let's suppose that you don't remember that identity. You don't remember that at all. You just remember those two. So let me show you how to solve without knowing that identity. Second way. So you know what tangent is? It's sine over cosine. Uh, 1 over sine over cosine. Uh, it will be cosine over sine. Sorry, we have squared here. Cosine squared over sine squared. In denominator you have sine, but in numerator you don't. So you have to 
rewrite cosine squared in terms of sine squared. You know what cosine squared is here? You, um, you are going to sub isolate cosine squared by bringing sine squared to the other side. So in place of cosine squared, you are going to write 1 minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta. You wrote it in terms of sine, but you didn't simplify it yet. So let's simplify. Uh, I can separate these numerators. We have two numbers in numerators, so I can separate them. 1 over sine squared minus sine squared over sine squared, which is 1. So as you see, we get the same result, but in a longer way. So if you know the other identities, you can find the result easily and quickly. If you don't, it will take time, but eventually you will find it. Let's continue with different questions. This time, this time we're going to rewrite expressions in terms of cosine. So here I have 1 over sine for question 4. I have 1 over sine theta multiplied by tangent, which is sine over cosine. So sines will cancel out. Sines will cancel out. We will left with 1 minus cosine theta. So we wrote it in terms of cosine and we simplified it. That's it for question 4. Question 5. Um, 1 plus 1 over cosine squared. We already have cosine here. We don't have cosine here, we have sine. So we can change 1, or 1 minus sine squared to cosine as cosine squared. From the first identity, cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So when you isolate cosine squared, it's 1 minus sine squared. So this is 1 plus 1 over cosine squared theta. So we have 1 plus 1 over cosine squared. You can distribute this first or you can equalize the denominator. It's up to you. You'll get the same result. This, when you distribute it, it's going to be cosine squared theta plus 1 over cosine squared times cosine squared. So cosine squared will cancel out. You're left with cosine squared plus 1. It is your result. Last question. What I see here is an identity sine squared plus cosine squared, which is equal to 1. 1 plus tangent squared. I see here another identity 1 plus tangent squared is 1 over cosine squared. It's another identity. If you don't know that identity, you have to write um, tangent as sine over cosine and equal as denominators and so on. But knowing that identity will shorten your time. So let's continue. Um, let's take a look at some multiple choice questions. Um, which expression is equivalent to tangent theta? Um, sine is sine. No, cosine is cosine. No, 1 over cosine is 1 over cosine. There's no specialities here. So we have here 1 times sine over cosine. So it is equal to sine over cosine, which gives you tangent. So option D. 57. Which expression is not equivalent to the other expressions? Here we have 1 over sine times cosine. Here we have 1 times cosine squared times tangent. Let me solve it. Question 57. Let me solve G and see what we have here. So we have 1 over cosine squared times 1 over tangent, which is 1 over sine over cosine, which is cosine over sine. So cosine at the top, cosine at the bottom. 
cosine at the top will go, one of the cosines at the bottom will go, so it's going to be 1 over cosine times sine. So it's the same, f and g are same, f and g are same. What about h? Tangent over, let me take a look at h. Tangent is sine over cosine, sine over cosine, we have over sine squared, which is equal to sine over cosine times 1 over sine squared. So sine at the top, sine squared at the bottom, one of the sines will go, so it's going to be 1 over sine times cosine which is the same. So that's also same. So we left with J. You don't have to solve it. You already got that. Question 58. Which expression is not an identity? 1 plus cosine squared equals sine squared. We know the identity that 1 is equal to sine squared plus cosine squared or 1 minus cosine squared equals sine squared. It's none of them. So A. There is no identity like that. The last one, which expression is equivalent to 1 minus 1 over cosine squared? Uh, we can use one of the identities here. Um, what is 1, 1 over cosine squared? Which identity do I have here? We know that 1 over cosine squared is equal to 1 plus tangent squared. We use the identity, one of the identities. So there is negative here, let's distribute it. It will give you 1 minus 1 minus tangent squared. So 1 minus 1 is 0. You just have negative tangent squared, which is J.